Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter. I've only actually really got two builds here to actually show you. Today I'm going over S and S, so it should be a relatively quick one. However, there's quite a bit of moving parts in this one. Although you can do so much more, you can do max might setups, frost craft setups, um, and a variety of other things. I've got one build which is I'm deeming as a support build, but you can basically just see from how much is going on, you can mix and match, and the other ones are damage. So let's have a look at the support build first. True Fatal Sword with Affinity Health and Element. We've got Friendship Attack and Friendship Attack as well in the Weapon and the Helmet, Dragon Head Beta, three more Friendship Attacks, Dragon Hide Beta Chest, Satiated Expert, Dragon Claws Beta Gloves, Challenger, Critical Medicine, Flawless Medicine, Dragon Hide Alpha, Waste, Flawless Medicine, Flawless Embrace, and then the Boots, Kulv Taroth, Beta, Gobbler Expert, Gobbler, Gobbler, Challenger Charm, 5, and then I'm using Evasion Mantle with 2 KOs, and then Glider Mantle with Guardian Attack, Guardian Attack. Now this, if you have Glider Mantle on and you happen to get the Offensive Guard proc, as well as obviously those two attack or decorations in there, it will give you the exact same amount of damage, pretty much, just a tad bit over in fact as the current high damage meta setup but obviously we've got wide range free mill recovery up speed eating a load going on to help us support our allies and when we are in evasion mantle when you get the damage buff doing a few shield bashes just to help out with ko's or toppling the monster really does help all round support build works very well and you get some seriously decent damage out of it. Currently one of my favourite builds to use, especially when I'm trying to help people out with Fatalis. It just works quite well. As for an actual damage setup, it's actually really not that more powerful. It's just more, well, damaging but not by a lot. So again, True Fatalis solved with Affinity Health and Element. Two level 4 attack decorations in the weapon. Dragon Head Beta Helmet with an Attack 4 and then two more Experts. Dragon Hide Beta Chest with Phoenix Evasion times 3. Could be Phoenix Protection if you wish, I just like using Evasion. Dragon Claws Alpha with Flawless Evasion and Attack. Dragon Barb Alpha Waste with Challenger Dual 4, Shaver and Flawless. That Shaver could easily be Braced depending on if you're playing multiplayer. And then in the Boots for Cool Taros. Wrath Alpha, Critical Dragon, Dragon, Vasion Mantle, I've got two Medicine, and in my Glider Mantle, I've got two Throttle and Medicine, just to help out with the affinity as well as the healing. Now, I have compared this build to the meta, despite the fact the difference between them is I've got three points of Handicraft and they have four points of Dragon Attack. All damage appears to be basically the same. I just find more use for the Handicraft simply because it means I don't have to sharpen that often. And I, sword and shield's pretty quick and nippy. Yeah, I find it more useful, and judging by the numbers shown, there's literally no damage difference between them, which is odd, considering I am missing two dragon attack. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I do hope this has been helpful. Have fun, good luck, and don't die. It's bad for the health.